In this video, we'll take another look at factorizing by grouping. So again, we have to pair off the terms that have most in common. So if we analyze this, these two probably have the most in common. Then we're left with this pair on the right-hand side. So if we look at our first pair, 5mn minus 10n, what number divides into both 5 and 10 evenly? We know 5 does. So 5 is the first common term. If we look at letters next, what's common? We can see n is common, so it's 5 times n. We divide both terms by the common term we've taken outside the brackets. The next pair, we can see 3 divides into both 3 and 6 evenly. And we can see as regards letters, L is common, so L is another common factor. So we divide both terms by 3L. Next we carry out our division. So 5 divided by 5 goes once, n's cancel also, and we're just left with m. 10 divided by 5 is 2, n divided by n goes once, so we're just left with 2. 3lm divided by 3l, so the 3's cancel and the l's cancel, we're just left with m. 6l divided by 3l, which leaves us with 2. So at this point, we have it factorized, but as you can see, we can tidy it up further. You can see m minus 2 is a common factor. So we're multiplying 5n by m minus 2 and 3l by m minus 2. So we can rewrite it like this. 5n plus 3l. So you're multiplying both those by m minus 2. And that's it completely factorized. In our next expression, Again, we're factorizing by grouping. If we analyze the terms here, we can see that 3ab probably has the most in common with minus 6ad, so we'll group those two together. And then we're just left with this pair in the middle. So if you want to rewrite that, just to put the terms side by side, you may do so. So if we look at the terms we have here, we have 3ab minus 6ad. So what goes into both numbers? You can see 3 divides in evenly, so 3 is a common term. As regards to letters, a is common, so that's a common term here. So we divide each term by 3a. Moving on to the next pair, we can see that we have 2 here, and this is bc, which is 1 times bc, so 1 is the only number that divides into both. As regards to the letters, we have cd and we have bc, so you can see c is common. So c is our common factor, we'll divide both terms by c. So 3ab divided by 3a so the 3 cancels, the a's cancel, and you're just left with b. 6 divided by 3 is 2, the a's cancel, and we're just left with d, so it's minus 2d. Next we have plus c multiplied by minus 2cd divided by c, the c's cancel, so you have minus 2d over 1, which is minus 2d. bc divided by c, c's cancel, and you're left with b. So we have it factorized 3a by b minus 2d plus c by minus 2d plus b. So we have the same terms in both brackets. We'll just rewrite them just to arrange them in the same manner. So minus 2d plus b is the same as b minus 2d. It's just in a different order. So like we did before, we can rewrite this. We can see we have a common term we're multiplying 3a by b minus 2d, and we're also multiplying c by b minus 2d. So we can rewrite this as 3a 
plus c by the common factor which is b minus 2d and that's it completely factorized.